Homeowners in Westminster will stop at nothing to recall members of city council. They've been telling anyone who will listen that their water bills are a rip off and that the city wants to silence them. Most recently, they told it to a judge. Here is Gary Broad. In the late hours Friday night, while many of us were going to bed, an Adams County judge ruled on a case that could have a huge financial impact for everyone living in Westminster. In so many ways, it restored my, my faith in our legal system. Bruce Baker was once a council member for the city of Westminster. Now he's part of a group trying to recall four current members for their role in a drastic increase in water bills over the last year. We've been delayed by more than five months now. More than five months. We should have had this recall election in January. And probably the soonest we can have it now is June. The delay started when 27,000 signatures were turned into the city clerk's office calling for the recall. However, city clerk Michelle Parker determined more than a third of those signatures didn't qualify due to a technicality. I found out it was over an instruction page, a cover page just like this one right here that asks for your name and your phone number at the bottom. I would say that out of 27,000, approximately 10,000 were thrown out. Sandy Pospisal began collecting those signatures shortly after she received her August water bill. In 2019, it went to $758.64. In 2020, it's going up to, it did go up to $1,112. The decision from the judge says an issue with the petitions were not intentional and that the clerk should not have rejected the signatures on that basis. In other words, the cover page was not enough reason to shut down the recall efforts. We reached out to the city clerk and the council members facing possible recall. They referred us to the statement by the city of Westminster, which says in part, the court finds there is no evidence from the hearing indicating Ms. Parker neglected her duty for objectivity. So as it stands now, the city clerk has until April 28th to review the signatures that were thrown out to either accept them as valid or show cause for rejecting them. In Westminster, Gary Broad, Denver 7.